to benefit maximally within the next few years. 400 years, enslaved Africans fought for their freedom, while colonial powers and others committed horrific crimes against them. But despite the abolishment of the transatlantic slave trade, the menace still occurs in their society. Inio Luakopola takes a look at the transition of how slavery moved from being in chains to being without. What you are looking at were instruments they were used originally. So anytime they hear the sound, it gives them nightmare. Slave trade was a universal phenomenon in the beginning. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. But when it became based on the skin color, it affected the black race. From the Barakon in Badagri, the ancestors, the enslaved ancestors, were taken to Berefu, uh, also known as the point of no return. And they walk on the slave route, which is about 1.5 kilometers, till they get to the seaside. And when they get to the seaside, they enter a boat, a small boat, that takes them to the big ship that takes them away. The journey on the slave ship was also referred to as journey to unknown destination. At the time, there was a king called King Wawu who supported the abolition, so we should recognize African abolitions. But today, the descendants of the enslaved ancestors they were taken to the Americas became very successful, and they are all returning back. Oh, most of them are returning back home to Africa to reunite with their families. Well, let's now bring in curator of the Badagri Slave Relics Museum, Anago Osho, who joins me on the news at one. Thank you for joining us at this time. What is the relevance of, uh, you know, casting our minds back on uh, the slave trade? Because some would actually argue that slavery is abolished, so why do we have to go into the past? There is no future without the past. The transatlantic slave trade and the trans trade slave uh, trade was a very huge scar on us as Africans on the continent of Africa. It, it was a very big one. It is important for us because history is for us to learn from so that we don't continue to make people old mistakes. Uh, many things happened during the transatlantic slave trade. And the biggest thing that happened was actually mental slavery, uh, which is still going on now. So we need to talk about this so that we can free our minds, we can free our spirits, and continue to move on. We cannot stop talking about the past. Although the history of Africa did not begin with the slave trade, either the trans saharan slave trade or the transatlantic slave trade. But we need to continue to talk about it. We need to tell our children what happened in the past so that the same thing do not happen. Well, I would have really loved that this conversation continued, but the audio from your end is quite bad. But thank you for what you've been able to share already. Curator, but Agri Slave Relics Museum, Anna Gosha. Thank you. Away from that, the federal government says it will engage more 